Hey everybody. So I have a Chemo haul that I received after I got back from uh, my trip to New Orleans uh, last weekend. But before I get into that, I just wanted to say that I was able to find my microphone. Um, it was in front of me the whole time in my room. And um, yeah, when I was packing for the trip, I came across it. So yay, got it back. Anyways, um, the order actually came in on the day that I was leaving for New Orleans, which was uh, February 2nd. But of course, it got delivered after we'd already left. We drove to New Orleans because from Memphis, it's about five to six hours, depending on how fast you drive. So we left like some right around, you know, after lunch. And um, it's a pretty easy drive. You're just going down I-55 and then I-10. So we stayed in an Airbnb and we were there for, um, we uh, were there for basically two days. Um, we left uh, New Orleans and came back to Memphis um, right after lunch um, on Sunday. And we actually got back in five hours because my brother-in-law basically sped the whole way, which was kind of hilarious. But it was a great trip. Um, I hadn't been to New Orleans for about 20 years. Yeah. Um, my sister actually lived there. Um, she is a Katrina, um, ref, uh, what is it? She survived Katrina. She was actually in Katrina. I mean, in New Orleans during Katrina because she was part of the hurricane team um, at the hospital that she worked at. So she was there when it hit and then was, you know, basically had to be escorted out of the city by the army, by the U.S. Army, because, um, you know, safe passage, so to say, outside of the city when she um, was coming back to Memphis um, since they lost everything um, because of the hurricane. So um, anyways, yeah, so I was able to see New Orleans before Katrina. So it was interesting to see everything um, now, how many years after Katrina and um it was a great trip you know we we got to i got to experience mardi gras for the first time um and that was interesting too because friday it was sunny and beautiful sunday it was sunny and beautiful saturday the day that we were going to experience the parade uh it was raining the entire time in fact um we were in a downpour when um the last crew was making its way down St. Charles. And by then a lot of the stands where we were at, cause we paid to, you know, to stay in one of the stands, they, um, they cleared out. So the last crew that came down um, St. Charles was the crew of Sparta. And my God, because there weren't many people on the streets, they threw a lot of stuff at us. So the majority of the stuff that we caught was mostly from that last, um, crew. But anyways, I'll do a separate video on the stuff that I was able to get in New Orleans. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and get back to the um, the haul here. So I did a quick order from Temu. It's been a year since I ordered. Um, I had, I don't know why, I was just like bored and I got on the, um, on the app and you know it, how they throw all those, all the coupons at you and there was a coupon where it's like if I made, you know, something like $20 purchase, uh, I'd get this much discount off or whatnot. So this is what I ended up getting. I, in fact, right after I made the order, I uh, I messaged uh, my friend Clarissa, uh, Care Me is Corner, um, right away. And I was like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I just ordered from Temu. And she was laughing because, yeah, because I hadn't ordered from there for so long. So let's go ahead and, and look at the stuff. So I'm going to pull the first thing out. Now, this is a, an album. I can't actually see the camera here because I don't have the screen facing me. So I am trying to remember now why I got this. I think this is an A. This looks like it's an A6. Yeah. And I honestly don't remember why I picked it. <laughs> Because <laughs> like I said, it was so random when I got on that app and then was kind of like, yeah, you know, okay, I'm going to order some stuff. And, you know, you had like a time limit and, and all that. So I'm trying to remember, maybe it was to put stickers in or maybe it was just for photos. 
I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look at how they were displaying it or what they had um, labeled this as. But it's just a nice, clear, um, you know, cover with a lot to be able to put in there. Maybe I did get it for pictures. Uh, well, yeah, like I said, I'll go back on the app and look. And then I'm going to move this up because I had covered all this and the ink is still wet and I don't want to get it all over myself. So the next thing I'm just pulling out randomly, um, these are uh, calendar dates. And I have been wanting something like this so that I could use this with um, my traveler's notebook. If, you know, I'm a, by chance I'm going to do an entry or something in there, um, I can use this on it. And I believe this is for 2024. So, yeah. I just thought, okay, pretty cheap. I'll go ahead and I'll get it. Okay, so what else we got here? Um, this right here, they look like they're, it's like a ledger or maybe like check stubs. Is that what this is? Yeah, let's open it up. I remember there were a bunch of them to choose from. But I like how it's kind of like almost like a grid in a way. But I like the color and see yeah the paper is pretty good this will be good for um doing my junk journal collage stuff um what else we got here okay i've ordered some of these stickers and usually they have like examples of like the different girls and they're more like you know they're asian girls so I'm Asian. I'm Filipino. So I think I wanted to also use this in like some of the collage stuff that I'm, I'm going to be doing once again. Uh, let's see. This is not a very big haul because like I said, I only spent $20. Yes, I've been wanting to get these. Um, there's a hundred in here and they're all different like film strips. You know, so or slides, either one by Mocard. I have a lot of stuff by that company. So this will look really good in the background for stuff or um, in my Hobonichi. This one right here. Oh, I really wanted to get this. So this is actually a wax stamp mold. So, you know, because sometimes when you do wax stamps, um, you pour it and then you put the, uh, you know, the seal over it wax stamps, wax seals. Um, and sometimes, you know, the shape is not always like perfect, right? Well, that's fine. But this one, I wanted to try it out. So I would pour the wax in here, put the seal, and then hopefully I'd be able to get like these designs and these shapes, you know? So yeah. And I chose it in this color, this mint color, which I thought was really pretty. Um, I got this because I've seen, uh, is it Midori? I think it's not, not Midori. Traveler's Company has something similar, I think, or was it Hobonichi? It's a ruler, but it folds, right? So this will go really good in my um, Delphonics. Let's take it out. Come on. Or do I have to push the whole thing out? There we go. So it's like this. I'm going to have to go further back down because... It's not focusing. So yeah, see? So I'll have a full-size ruler to be able to use and it stores pretty pretty easily. But this feels like it would break easily on top of that. But hey, I think I only got it for like $1.50 or something like that. I can always order another one if I want to. I might order a backup. Always need post-its, but especially this in craft and in grid. I just love the look of this. So I can never have too many of these because I do tend to go through these pretty well, uh, pretty fast. But I wonder, the adhesive is decent, but um, I'm, I'm not really going to use it for that. I'd probably just glue it down, you know? Okay. And what else we got? I think this is the last one, yeah. So I can get rid of the bag. I did get some washi. Come on. There we go. 
So it's another product from Mocard. But this one is supposed to look like um, film strips, 35 millimeter film, especially when you run it through the processor and then you find out, oh my God, there was actually nothing on that roll. I used to um, work for Wolf Camera back in the 90s, um, developing film and pictures. And yeah, it would be kind of hilarious when somebody would bring in a roll, not knowing that that roll had nothing on it. You know, of course we wouldn't, we, I mean, we still had to charge them for, um, for actually running it through. But, you know, I mean, when I, when it comes out of the machine and there's nothing on it, I'm obviously not going to run it, try to print anything from it because there's nothing to print, you know, but um, yeah, I mean, it didn't happen that often, but it was kind of sad to see the look on somebody's face when they came to pick it up and, you know, thinking that they had stuff on it and then wondering, uh, where is that roll that I took the pictures, you know? What gets me is like, how do you not realize um, that that roll was unused? Because basically, I would never, because um, I, I take pictures myself, I would never take a roll out of the box until I'm ready to use it, you know? So, because yeah, it's easy to, you, you just don't really, well, you actually, you would know because the fact that it's got the lip sticking out, so that's how you know that it's not been used. But somehow these people, I don't know. So yeah, this is what it would look like. Let me get it focused. Oop, come on. There we go. Somewhat focused. So it's clear. And this would look really good on the side, in the background, you know, that kind of thing. No, you don't get much, but that's okay. I might order some more of this. So that's just my very, very quick Timu haul, okay? Um, I'm going to film a Mardi Gras haul, and then uh, what else? There's a couple other things that I need to film. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great week. All right, bye.